journalist Anag Ngalaji's book El Dorado, which detailed the events at the Kolar Gold Fields, KGF, between 1951 and 2018, was banned by the Indian government, but a television news channel procures a copy and interviews him. In 1951, the government officials discovered gold ore in southern Mysore state where on the same day, Rajaraki Krishnapadaraya was born to a poor underage woman. Shanti. Sirai Vardhan, a powerful crime boss, who accompanied the official Hazen killed and leases the land for 99 years under the pretext of running Narachi, a limestone mine, but secretly establishes KGF he had five associates, Kimal, son of Sirai Vardhan's former associate Bhargav, Rajendra Dasay, who oversees the transportation of refined gold bars, Andrews, who oversees the gold smuggling. In the western coast of the country, Guru Panjan, president of the in-government dis party, and Adhira, Sirai Vardhan's brother who hated the KGF security. Sirai Vardhan suffers a paralysis and appoints his elder son Guru to the future heir of KGF. Sirai Vardhan expected Adhira to serve as his son's aide, but Adhira unsuccessfully attempts to assassinate Garuda. In turn, Garuda bombs. Adhira's car and he is presumed dead. Sirai Vardhan's former associates now eye the riches of KGF Rocky arrives in Bombay as a 10-year-old on a quest for wealth and power as desired by Shanti, and begins to work for Shetty, a gold smuggler and Andrews his underboss, who competes against a Dubai-based rival in Ayat Kalal. Years later, he rises in the ranks and oversees the arrival of African gold. Bars to the Bombay coast. Rocky's influence begins to rival Shetty's own. Andrews who notices about Rocky offers him Bombay in return for assassinating Garuda. Rocky accepts the offer and heads to Bangalore. He meets Dasay's daughter Rina and falls for her and pursues her to accept him, much to her fiancé Kamal's chagrin. A statue inauguration is organized for luring Garuda out of KGF, but the attempt is averted even before it begins. Rocky witnesses the authority and power that Garuda commands. Seeing no other option to murder Garuda, Rocky journeys to KGF killing a unit of Garuda's henchmen to enter. The workers in KGF, who were forcibly kidnapped, are subjected to inhumane conditions and treated as slaves. Rocky becomes one of them and although apathetic at first, he is moved by the cold-blooded murder of a mother and son by a guard. Rocky stealthily accesses the map of the mine in the maintenance room during a roll call and narrowly escapes death after a fellow slave sacrifices himself to save the lives of his wife and unborn child. Andrews Kamal and Dusay are misinformed about the incident and assume Rocky is killed. Rocky engages in a fight with an entire unit of 23 guards, killing each one of them to save a blind slave they were about to brutally murder. With this act, Rocky emerges as a messiah in the slave's eyes. He orders them to burn the guards' corpses to let Andrews and his men know he is still alive via their informants, Kulkarni and Garuda's younger brother Verit. Garuda prepares to leave his residence to investigate the fire and missing guards. To avert this, there its mother Surai Vardhan to death, and Garuda rushes back home. Shaken by the recent bad turn of events, Garuda orders M.A.A. Kali's ritual to be rescheduled from the following week to the next day, planning to kill his father's allies as soon as the ritual is complete. At night, Rocky heads unsuspected through a tunnel to the site where Garuda has decided to behead. Three slaves as offerings to the goddess, as Vanram discovers that the third slave to be beheaded was found dead inside his prison cell. Upon Garuda's arrival and sacrifice of two slaves, a concealed Rocky, who had taken the third slave's place, emerges and kills him. Ngalaji concludes that Rocky intentionally chose KGF as the location to assassinate Garuda, so that an army of slaves would help him seize control and also indicates that this is just the beginning. The news of Garuda's murder reaches Ramakasen, a no-nonsense politician. Adhira, who had survived the incident, plans to resurface, and so does Kalal. As Vanaram orders his men to attack Rocky and his army, the Acastic slaves kills the guards and accept Rocky as their leader. Please like, comment and subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching the video. Please press the bell icon to get notifications.